Hello, Ramley and other NFL family. I'm Peo Time, and in this video, we are going to predict each and every game of week two in the NFL season. Last week, I did all right. I went 11 and 5. Uh, let me just bring up here the Pick'em League here. We have Silly Fun Guy. You are winning it. And again, anyone who's watching, you can still join the Pick'em League. You're just going to be behind a week, but it's fun. The winner of the league at the end of the season will get an NFL jersey of their current favorite NFL player of choice. And uh, Silly Fun Guy went 14 and 2. He, the only ones he got wrong here, look, he just got the uh, he, he got the Bears wrong and the Steelers wrong. He he thought the Steelers were going to be the Niners and the Bears were going to be the Packers. But other than that, he was perfect on the week. And I see that uh, Sean LAR's picks won. He's only one game back. There's a bunch of us at 11 wins and five losses or four losses if you forgot to pick a game. So anyway, I encourage you, fill out your pick them here. I'm going to do mine, and uh, we are going to have some fun uh, the rest of this NFL season. It's going to be a lot of good time. If you see your name on here, you're still in the running, still in the running for that jersey. All right. Let me share this screen here. We're going to give a bit of a different view here. All right. So uh, I, I went through the games ahead of time, but I am going to change my pick them just a little bit. I was thinking I wanted to look at them. So Thursday night, we got the Eagles. We got the Vikings. A lot of people are picking the Eagles here. To me, Thursday night, short week, the Vikings had a disappointing loss to the Buccaneers. This, to me would be a poised bounce back game for the Vikings. So I'm actually going to go against the 91% here. And boom, I'm going uh, Vikings on this one. Uh, for the Packers and Falcons, oh, this is kind of a tough one. I think this is going to be a close game. That I think that's just going to be the Falcons this year. All their games will be pretty close. I do see the Falcons getting the win over Green Bay. They're at home. I I let I, I think Green Bay played really well last week. I don't think that the Falcons are going to be as much of a pushover as the Bears were for them. The Raiders and Bills. I'll keep this short and sweet. I think that uh, the Raiders kind of fluked themselves to a win in a weird game with the Broncos. The Bills heartbreaking in a weird game against the Jets. I think the Bills bounce back. They get the win there. I'm going with the majority on that one. This is a tough one here. The Bengals and Ravens. Ravens banged up last week. Bengals didn't show up last week. I'm going to say the Bengals bounce back here and get their first win of the season. Um, I, I think, again, close game in the division matchup, but that, I'm going Bengals. The Lions and Seahawks here. Mm, this is another tough one. It's going to be an East Coast game. It's going to be in Detroit. It's their home opener. I... You know what? I think the Detroit Lions hype train continues. I think the Lions send the Seahawks to 0-2, and, and I am here for it. And just for the reminder, who beat the Seahawks week one? Oh, yeah, the Rams. Huh, interesting. The Chargers and Titans, again, this could, has a potential to be uh, one of those games that the Titans keep close and steal it at the end. I see a lot of people picking the Chargers here. However... I think the Chargers get their first win of the season here against the Titans. The Buccaneers and Bears, I, I did, I was not as high on the Bears, go, you know, going into the season as a lot of people, but I think I, I saw them as like a middle of the road team. They still might be a bottom five team. Oh, my alarm! Tell me to wake up. <laughs> um. I'm going to go with the Buccaneers getting the win on this one here. Jags and Chiefs. Ooh, it, it's hard to pick against the Chiefs after a loss with Patrick Mahomes, especially if they get Kelsey back. The Jags do look good, though. I think this is going to be a fun game, possibly the game of the week. We're going Chiefs on this one. The Texans and the Colts. Um, like what I saw from the Colts week one, uh, even though they lost, I'm – you know what? Actually, the Texans look better than expected too. I'm gonna. This is gonna be fun. You know, you get the rookie quarterback battle is always a good time. I'm gonna go the Colts on this one. I, I think they're a little bit more of a complete team than the Texans at this point. 
Oh, this is what's going to be definitely the game of the week here. You guys know who I'm picking. And yes, I see at the record, time of recording of this video, 95% of people are picking the Niners. However, the Rams had a you know amazing performance week one, a historic second half. I'm picking the Rams. They're my team. Go Rams. Horns up, baby. Cardinals and Giants. Ooh, that's a tough one. The Giants looked horrible. The Cardinals looked better than expected, but it was the Commanders, and they played the Cowboys. Mm, you know what? I'm, uh, I'm picking the Giants. I'm picking the Giants on this one. I, I don't have the, the guts to pick the Cardinals on, on that game. The Cowboys and Jets. Jets coming off of a emotional, weird, you know, week one Monday night football game. Again, prayers for Aaron Rodgers. Uh, I feel for for him as a, as a human being. They can't imagine what he's going through. Uh, but I I do predict the Cowboys to win this game. That defense is going to be suffocating to this Jets team. I think the ooh the Commanders and Broncos ah ah that is that I oh oh this is this is I'm going to change my view to give you something different to look at. I uh I I don't I like I don't have a coin on me. I <laughs> I have no idea. Could go either way. And you know what? I'm going to pick the the oh, they're at home. I I think oh, that's I think it's going to be an ugly game, but I think this will be a really ugly game. If you're watching this game on Sunday, like have have some tums close by or something. I'm going Broncos. I'm going Broncos. Yeah. The Dolphins and New England Patriots here. Um, yeah, Dolphins. I think they're just a way better team than the Patriots right now. And uh, yeah, I'm confident in their ability to get the dub. Saints and Panthers, another division rival. Oh yeah, we got a Monday night double header this week. I'm going to go – yeah, I'm going Saints. At this point, it just seems like they're they're the ones that can get this done. I just think they're, they're a more complete team. I think that defense has the potential to overwhelm Bryce Young a little bit. Going there. Browns and Steelers, another close – oh, I think this is going to be a fun AFC North, some smash mouth football. Ooh, on Monday night, ooh, I am going to pick the Steelers here. And I, I've predicted 27 points here. So, yeah, I'm going Steelers. So those are my predictions for week two of the NFL season. Let me know yours in the comments below. Of course, you can always go on the Pick'em and join it. Have a great time. Each and every week, I'll uh, come back and, and do one of these videos and see you know who had the best week, who's in the lead overall. I'm at 11-5, and so I'm going to keep competing, try and win my own Pick'em League. But shout out, silly fun guy, still in the lead. As always, go Rams, horns up, and peace out. Let's go Rams, and we'll see you in the next content.